Uh, the enemy will resist us from being saved. But every person needs to be born again. They need to enter into the kingdom of God. And that's what he's talking about here. Uh, by chance, there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. He saw uh, the man wounded, but he couldn't help him. He had to pass by him. So the priesthood can't help us. Uh, and likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. You know, the law is a schoolmaster that points us to Christ. And the blood of bulls and goats cannot redeem us, could not save us. So uh, the Levite had to pass by and look at the man because he couldn't help him. He couldn't help us. Uh, but a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Now what is a Samaritan? We, we know that after Solomon was uh, king, uh, David's son, that the kingdom was divided and there were uh, ten northern tribes and there were two southern tribes, Judah and Benjamin. And we know that the northern tribes, that area was called Samaria. And we know that uh, every king that they had in the north, in the ten tribes, every king that they had was an evil king. They worshipped idols and they rebelled against God. And so God let that continue for a while, and then he allowed the Assyrians to come in to Samaria and to uh, take the Jews out of Samaria and uh, take the ten tribes away. Uh, there were some Jews left there. There was a remnant left there. Uh, and we realized that uh, he brought, uh, the king of Assyria brought other uh, people into that area, and they intermarried. And so they were a mixture between Jews and Gentiles. And these Samaritans built their own temple on Mount Gerizim, and they worshiped there. They wouldn't go to Jerusalem to worship. They worshiped there. And so a Samaritan was uh, mixed, like so many of us Americans are. Uh, we're mixed nationalities. But this Samaritan in particular was Jesus. This Samaritan came where the wounded man was. That's Jesus. Jesus who is God, who is all God, and who is all who was all human. He was all God, but he was all human. God came in the flesh and came where we were because we couldn't help ourselves. We were lost. We were away from God. We were absent absent the life of God. Uh, those that were justified were justified in a Messiah coming. They were justified through sacrifice. And so the Samaritan was Jesus who came from heaven, was born of a virgin. Uh, he was not born with sin. He was sinless. Uh, his father, uh, his, he had an earthly father named Joseph, but his real father was the Father God in heaven. And so he was born of a virgin, and he came where we were. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So no human being could help us to redeem us. But Jesus was sent, the second person of the Godhead. Jesus is the Son of God. He is not only the Son of God, he is the second person of the Godhead. He is, he is divine. He is holy. And so he came where we were. I praise God for that because without him there would be no re redemption but he, he became like us and he had compassion on us. I'm glad that he came not to judge us but he came to save us. John 3.16, the greatest scripture I believe in the Bible. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came not into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. And so I'm glad that I don't have to work to be saved. I can receive the Good Samaritan as my Lord. I can receive Jesus as my Lord in my redemption. He's the one that came where I was, and he was touched with the feeling of our infirmities. 
and he went he went to him he went to us he went to humans to to mankind and he poured and he bound up his wounds pouring in all and wine uh, which is the spirit of God and uh, through the blood and through the spirit we're born again we're saved and we enter into the kingdom of God and he set this man that was wounded on his own beast now this beast is a type of the church uh, he set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him that's that's what the church is doing as an assembly today as a body of believers is reaching out to the lost reaching out to the world and you know the Lord said compel them to come in so we're not only compelling them to come into the kingdom but after we get people into the kingdom of God after we tell this gospel this good news and it is good news because Christianity is the only uh, religion and is actually not a religion but it's it's the only religion that has uh, forgiveness for sins and through this Jesus through this good Samaritan that came where we were and poured in the oil and wine and bound up our wounds you know we have so many problems as a human being we have so many uh, addictions we have so many things through choices that we've let come into our lives and we're so bound up and and you know we're so unworthy and and but Jesus loved us so much while we were yet sinners that he came where we were where we were where we are and and he said I'll forgive you of your sins and he bound up our wounds I had so many wounds when I come to the Lord I needed so much healing in my life I needed so many I had so many things in my emotions in my mind I had sickness in my body uh, I had demonic presence in my in my in my own life and and Jesus bound up those wounds he poured in the oil he poured in the wine he he, he washed me with his blood he gave me his presence he gave me his spirit and and I, I went to the I went to the inn which is the church and you know the fivefold ministry was at work there the apostle the prophet the uh, evangelist the pastor and the teacher uh, I began to learn I began to mature in the Lord and it brought healing to me you know it's such a joy to be in the kingdom of God to live in the presence of God to, to read his word and to study his word and know that he's talking to me that he's speaking to me personally that he has forgiven me of of the evil the lawlessness the rebellion that was in my life and only through Jesus we find that he's the only one he's the only one that came and sacrificed he was the sacrifice and died for our sins shed his blood for our sins and and his he he was sinless but he took our sins upon him he became our sacrifice he became God's sacrifice for us and and he died that we might have eternal life and that he might reside inside of us no no other group no other religion uh, does the Savior live inside of them but in Christianity it does and you know he, he said that he come to give us life uh, that spiritual life he, he's no longer absent in our life but he's living he's residing in us and so he he gave us life and he gave us abundant life I have abundant life here on earth because I have a personal relationship because God came to me. He came in the flesh. He took on the form of flesh and and became like me that I might become like him. I'll never be God, but I'm a son of God. I'm one of his children. I'm in his kingdom. I have delegated authority. I have power over all the power of the enemy through him. And what a blessing this is that he came.